So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how I use Asana within my business. And as I mentioned before, this is a course that I took through Elisa Lang. And I've praised her many times, so I wanted to show you how I go ahead and use all her teachings. This right here is Asana, so this is under my task. These are tasks that I want to complete in this time. And if you see this faded color, that means that I've just completed them. For example, this was a, uh, get, she calls it a daily get-to-do list. These are tasks that you would do weekly or daily, in this case daily, in your business. And every day you would get it done. And as you complete them, they repopulate every day. Another part I wanted to show you within Asana is you see all the categories under here. We also have business tasks. So under business tasks, I would write down any uh, tasks that come up to mind. And the cool thing about Asana is also there's an app. So if, for example, you're on the run and uh, something comes up, I need to get that done this, or I would like to get this done. Well, you just add it to your list, populate your list, and then when you review your week, you would, for example, I want to work on this if the course, I want to, I want to create a course, I would just assign it to myself and I would put a due date if I want to. And then also right here, I can add it to my week. So that means maybe I want to get it done within a certain week. If I add it to my week, if I go up here, here on the left where it says my week under my business name. You would see that it populated right here and then from here I can uh, move it over depending on what date I want to get this course started or I want to start doing my research to create this course or anything like this. And this right here, this part for my week, it's so that this could overwhelm you seeing all the tasks because again, these are all the tasks that you want to complete. If you see over here, there's six more. If you click on it, you would see more tasks that need to get done that day. But if this overwhelms you seeing all this for the month, then that's why the my week is created so that you can see one week at a time and you would just populate them under here and move them according to what date you want them to be completed. Um, also, another way that I use Asana is for my marketing, for the marketing of my business under content calendar. I create a running list of any uh, ideas that come up for any YouTube videos or any content that I want to put on Facebook or Instagram, just a running list. When you want to go live with that task, of course, you complete all the all that's involved in creating that task. For example, you would des um, des of course you would decide on the topic, design a photo uh, down the list, right? So this is all the drop down list of what you would need to get done in order to make that task go live. From there, when the task is completed, for example, say how to ref I'm gonna go ahead and show on YouTube how to refund a client, I would bring it all the way down to YouTube. And then if I've already completed the task, I would click the check mark there and it would let me know that I already completed that, I already made it go live, and therefore I'm done with that idea. Asana offers so many different options. Like if we go down to the left again and we go under client work, under client work, I have my templates. So templates that either I have created or I was able to obtain from the Asana course offered by Lisa Lang. So for example, say I'm onboarding a new client. So this is the template that I would go ahead and use for onboarding a client. And on here, it's step-by-step. -step. I know that the step-by-step -step might sound tedious, but it makes a huge difference in remembering what it is that needs to get done so that you don't miss a beat. For example, you would get documents signed by the client. Then also you need to create an engagement letter. You need to go send out the ACH authorization letter. And every time that you are completing a task, just, just click the little check mark right next to it and it's completed. Uh, then we'll send an invoice. So, you know, you, you get the idea. It goes down the list after what happens after payments received, uh, what happens after documents have been received and so on. After uh, documents are received, you're going to go ahead and schedule your conversation. It goes through step by step what to do in order to onboard a client, the first a new client. And of course, we have other templates here, uh, bookkeeping clients when they're your clients already, a cleanup. So it goes down the list. So it's an unimaginable the templates that you can use with Asana. And then of course I have a template library where I, I have any templates that are not used as often. You can see Asana is a 
monster in itself. And the amazing part of it is, is that all this is free. This is the free version of Asana. There is a paid version, so you can upgrade if you wanted to. And these are the options that they offer, but you can do so much with the free version that I personally have not had any need to upgrade. Another way that I use it is, and again, this is all ideas from Elisa Lang. I have just followed the steps in the course on how to use it, how she suggests to use it. She tells you step by step what you can do in Asana and how to get it done. So this is for clients that are grouped. One of the businesses that I work with is owner operators. So transporting businesses, transporting freight. And one of the things that is involved with transporting businesses is uh, MC and DOT clients. Uh, so that's if they want to register their own DOT number or MC number. And for example, say this is the template that I'm going to go ahead and use. So new MC and uh, DOT template. I would uh, click on it. These are three dots here that you see on the right. I would duplicate the task and just for example purposes say that this client's name is uh, transporting LLC. Uh, I'll go ahead and check off every mark here so I can I want everything to be duplicated exactly the way that it's in this template I would create and it takes a couple of seconds here for the template to be created. After the template is created you see it right here transporting LLC new MC and DOT number, I would bring it down in here. And for example, say I started the process, I go down the list here of how we're going to go ahead and set up the application and all the documents that I need for the client. And say th when I'm going down the steps, I realize that I need some documents. So I'm going to leave it under missing documents and info. And I'll leave it here until the, I get the documents from the client and say I got the documents. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move it down to review. So we bring it down the list and now the application is in progress. So we bring it down until we are at the final process, which it is ready to be submitted. And now it's, we are done with that part, right? At this point, the client's just waiting for their response back. Another group of clients that I have are if the clients, which is still within the transporting industry and same idea, you duplicate the template itself and then you bring it down the process if it's missing documents is it in review in progress or is it ready to be submitted so this is how I use Asana and this is just a small overview now there are various ways that Asana can be incorporated into your business if you see over here on the left hand side on your screen uh, where my mouse is pointing uh, I manage the business itself client work, uh, contract work, fi my finances, uh, grouped work, um, HR, sales and marketing, SOP, so systems of operation, even my personal uh, tasks that I need to get done. And I also manage another business from my Asana that I run with my husband in all in one system. So that's the amazing part of it is that it's all done without one system. Everything is here. And if you run it down the way that Elisa Lang shows you in her course, it's definitely going to make your life much simpler. The reason why I even started to use Asana is because everything was being managed in my head on stickies or in a notebook. And I was just losing my, uh, my mind with uh, how disorganized everything was or if I couldn't find something or when it came to the processes that I used with each client I would forget maybe a, a step or um, I just couldn't remember something and this has made it so much m much more manageable because everything is kept in the system step by step what you would do in order to get that task done so definitely check out Alisa Lang's course because she like I said in many of my videos she has made a huge impact in how I manage my business and how I use Asana. Um, yes, at the beginning, it was a little complicated to input into the business, but that's the reason why 
I pur purchased the course because the course guided me step by step how to input it into my business. And this one, Alisa Lang's course is specifically on how to use Asana for bookkeepers, uh, but Asana can be used for any business. It has made wonders for me. Let me know if you'd like to continue seeing this type of content and let me know below how you manage your system. How do you manage your workflows? Uh, do you use Asana? Asana? Put a thumbs up in the comments if you are familiar with Asana. I hope it has offered information on how maybe you can input Asana into your business. So I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe, like the video, and comment below.